Okay, Natalie writes, question, what is the name for the book about peaceful separation? I remember you mentioned it, but I forgot. Great question, and I happen to have it handy. Folks, the book is Conscious Uncoupling, Conscious Uncoupling by Catherine Woodward Thomas. Conscious Uncoupling by Catherine Woodward Thomas. And by the way, do you guys want to know something really cool? Let's turn to page 220 in her book. 220 in her book. I want you to see right here, right there. Can you see my name? Sherry and Jonathan. My ex-girlfriend and I were in this book as a demonstration of how to consciously uncouple in a very healthy way in a public manner. Our public letter went at, is in a book of how to uncouple consciously. In fact, when my, my significant relationship, um, in fact, here, I was in relationship with a woman named Dr. Sherry Myers. There's a picture of her. Isn't she gorgeous? Isn't she gorgeous? And she wrote a book called Chatting or Cheating? Chatting or Cheating. In fact, right, by, by the way, speaking of books, speaking of books, um, hold on one second. So I, I'm right in there. She acknowledged me as being actively participant in helping her create the book. It says, Jonathan Asley, who lovingly encouraged, pushed, and uh, unconditionally support, supported me through every step of the process of writing this book. Thank you for shining your beautiful heart light, holding down the emotional fort, and continually believing in me. You showed me firsthand what, what it means to live the words, I am here, you matter, we are important. Um, while that relationship didn't work out, and, not, and by the way, I have no regrets. It was the most beautiful relationship I ever had at that point in my life, and I needed that relationship to get to this level of where I was at. I was a train wreck when I met her, and she lovingly supported me through one of the toughest periods of my life, and I'm very grateful for that, but we weren't meant to go the distance. But what we did was we did a very beautiful conscious uncoupling. And what that really means is we agreed that, you know what, we may not be a good fit for one another, but it doesn't mean that the love has to go away. And we have since transitioned to what I call family. And a lot of you would say, don't be friends with an ex. I'm here to say bullshit to that. You know what, two people can still care for one another and be in each other's lives like we are family. And let me tell you, this woman is a, we had ended our relationship in 2017. She went to the hospital when my mother was passing away and visited her because we spent, broke bread with my mom frequently. And she was so there for me when my son passed away. I am here to say when good people in your life, you don't have to end a relationship just because you don't choose to be in romantic relationship with one another. Most people need to end relationship because they can't really, they don't have the emotional maturity to lean into being family with one another. But I can tell you the most, I am so grateful she's in my life. And uh, we still can, by the way, she's in a fantastic relationship with a guy, David. David is her partner. They live together. In fact, he took a picture of me while I was staying at their home for a weekend. Uh, and that back cover uh, right there, David Fetter, Sherry's boyfriend, great guy. And I'm friends with him and I play golf with him on occasion. My point in sharing this with you is it's the exception. It's not the rule. But I'm telling you, two human beings can end a relationship very lovingly if, they, if they're if they emotionally mature. Only emotionally immature people have calamity when they end relationship. But emotionally mature people, that's how they end relationship, a very conscious uncoupling. So thank you for that question. I really appreciate it. 